Hello fellow survivors and welcome to another video in the road to 500 day series. I'm right here in the cave, we're on the first episode past day 100 and we still have lots to do so it's going to be a long haul still. But right now we're in the cave, it's near evening and the next thing on the list is to repair the tower in Fallen Musk and then we're actually going to go back to Bleak Inlet. I don't think we'll stick around very long but we will go back because we're going to go into that bunker and then we're going to head back to mystery lake now, i would probably ideally go to mystery lake first and then uh, dump the stuff and come back out but i'm not sure if that's worth it because of the how late in the day it is we can see though we can see and uh, might be an idea because i'm probably going to be even heavier going back so if possible do I have anything that smells? I have this. I'm just going to eat this now. I don't smell at all. There we go. Let's have a drink also. Then I can uh, potentially head to the base. And repair the... Then come back and repair the transmitter. Any coal around here? Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, so now we are one-fifth of the way there. We've got a long ways to go. But um, we have a lot of long-term goals. There's a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to add some goals to that list uh, that I made last time soon after some community suggestions. So we're going to be here for a while, we are. Let's see, first of all, if Larry is home. We haven't found Larry so far, this run. How is my wood situation? Eh, that's okay. Let's see, Larry is down here. Oh yeah, you may hear my wife in the background. This this is one of those episodes, she may be in the background. <laughs> uh, let's see him. I don't think Larry is home, no. He, has to eat, he hasn't eaten his carrot. <laughs> oh well. One day we'll find Larry, he's kind of a rare spawn. Oh, I never kill Larry just because of... Uh, I don't believe in luck as such, but I never kill Larry. But you do what you want to do. Some people seem to be confused, though, and think that uh, the older bunnies are called Larry. But no, this bunny indoors is Larry. I call all the other bunnies Barry. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to go up there and repair the tower, but we're not going to turn it on until later. Hey, look at that. Did, did I miss this before? Is that a crash site? I think it is a crash site, isn't it? Huh. Okay, we definitely have to go there. I missed that last time. So what we're going to do, we're going to repair the transmitter. But we're not going to turn it on. Because when you turn it on, you trigger an aurora. Uh, in the, the following night, or if you're, if you're on a night, it triggers an aurora anyway. Uh, unless they changed it, there was, um, this is, I think, the first video, or maybe the second video, since they had a massive quality of life update that came out. So if you're watching this in the future, uh, this is a transition into a major bug fix uh, haul that they did, where there was loads of bugs fixed. Still some bugs in the game, though, but over 150 were fixed. I don't know if that was a bug or not, but I have a suspicion it wasn't the bug that you repaired the transmitter and then it triggered an aurora. But it seems kind of odd. But um, I think it probably was intentional to speed up the process. But uh, it's when you turn on the transmitter that the aurora triggers, not when you repair it. So we're going to repair it now with the scrap metal we got. Uh, this scrap metal hat. And then we'll turn it on later. We're gonna, probably going to go to Mr. Lake first and then come back out, I think. I Either that or we'll stay in a cave uh, nearby. So here we are. We were here a long time ago. Episode 1. The first episode in this series. If We, we were up here. As you can see, we picked up the Rosips. <laughs> if you have watched all the way since then, then thank you so much for this long journey. Look, a torch that we left behind. <laughs> it's funny to see traces. That was in real time. That was... Eight months ago. 
Wow. Ptarmigans. We don't really need ptarmigans, I guess. But I like... Um... Let me grab a couple of these, actually. Do I have any... Uh, fire hard now? I don't think so. No, I don't. Let's try and grab one then with a... A stone. I don't really care if I miss because... Um, don't really need them. But we'll take one anyway. It's because they can be used for broth. There they are. Thank you. Alright, now let's see here. I think I left some scrap metal behind us. We don't actually need that much scrap metal. But nevertheless. That's the first I think this is the first fire we made. <laughs> Still got the charcoal in it. Have I mapped it at the Vista actually? I don't think so. I don't think I have the Polaroid now that I think about it. No, I don't. So I can't map it. A bit of a graphic bug there. Let's see here. Yeah, so here's this stuff. Uh, but I think we repaired everything else, right? We repaired the car battery. We repaired the wires. It's just the metal parts that are missing. So let's do those now. Might make a fire also just to uh, warm up a bit. Nice. All this metal. Good thing Astrid is good with her scrap metal. You can craft whatever you need in for these things. Uh, all right. Now it's just turning it on. We're not going to do that now, though. Now let's see. Is it sunlight? Yes, it is. So let's... Uh, sure, let's grab this. Why not? Let's go to this crash site that I saw. That I must have missed before. They did add a bunch of those. I think it was with Single Void they added them. I don't think it was the DLC launch. I think it was with Single Void. There's a bunch of these crash sites around. I think you can find them with the transmitter as well. I think if you use, use this when Aurora's on, I think it does actually lead you to them. I'm not sure about that though. There's one here. There's one in Hush River Valley, which I think we've already been to. And there's one in uh, Mystery Lake. I'm not sure we've been to that one actually. Uh, I think, oh, and Coastal High, of course. There we are, yeah, this is definitely new. Let's make a little fire here. Just to warm up a bit. Oh. With all this stuff. So you can make a fire here. How about here? Right here. No? There we can, but it's a bit far away. I kind of want it to be... Oh, that's better, okay. Okay. Make a fire. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to getting fire starting level 5. Not because of the increased chance of starting a fire, but because you start fires about twice as fast when you reach level 5. So it does help uh, to have that. There we go. How cold are we? Minus 15. Uh, let's put on... I can't... I, no. One piece of coal here. Uh, a few sticks. And then we can also... Uh, just drop that for now. Okay, let's just map this. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Alright, so we got here a backpack. It matches in it. Oh, cool. I wonder if that was a chance thing or guaranteed. Well, that's interesting. <clears throat> now we got all this stuff to loot. Usually not much in here, but we'll check. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yes, I might have to come back the following. More matches. Oh my god. So many matches. What else? We don't need that, but. Uh, I can't reach those. 
If I can reach these. That's the first. Alright. I can't feel my hands. Hatch, nothing there. What about the front though? Oh, I can't go in there. Can you see inside though? Oh, you can go inside. Didn't look like you could. Nothing at all. Okay. Let's, uh, where did my timing go? Oh, yeah. Let's just warm up a bit. Uh, how much water? We might as well make some water. Why not? Uh, let's harvest this. How much by hand and that? Ah, uh, we'll do this. Let's make some broth or something. Uh, place this. Oh yeah, I got two of them. Acorn bannock. Oh yeah, I haven't really made those. But I don't think that's really worth it. Grounds. I don't even know what requires ptarmigan. Oh, this does. I if I can drop we need rabbit. What does this do? It, increase, it fixes your condition, doesn't it? Yeah. This is a really, really strong pie. Holy crap. I should maybe try and make one. You need ptarmigan and you need rabbit. Ptarmigan pie. Yeah, we don't have a flower, but uh, I was going to make the... Let's just try here. Broth. Yeah, let's make some broth. Yeah. And yeah, let's just make this water. And while we wait... Grab a couple of feathers. There we go. I'm not sure we need the rest of this, but we can take it. There we go. Four minutes. Sure. And yeah, why not? Let's put these down. I think uh, we will actually... I think I would like to come back a bit lighter. So I think we're going to go to Mystery Lake first and then come back here. We're not. It's not like we're in a hurry or anything. Dark out here. Let's grab some torches if I can interact with this campfire. Oh, we have an aurora, do we? Yeah, I think we do have an aurora. Because it's beeping. Interesting. We have an aurora. I could, um, I, I guess I could go and do it now. Maybe we should. It is kind of close. Yeah, I'm tempted. Hmm. How heavy am I? Pretty heavy. Really heavy. Now I think I'll come back. I want to bring all this gear back to the, um, as an early Aurora. But I'm carrying so much stuff. Uh, I think I'd like to lighten the load a bit and then come back here. And then after I've done the bunker, I can also go into Fall of Musky and find the bunker that's here. Um, so I think I want to stay in Fallen Mask a little bit. So I'll come back. And if I'm wrong, if it is that you actually have to... It's when you repair the transmitter that it triggers an aurora. Not when you turn it... Ow! Not when you turn it on. That was a bit further than I remembered. If that's the case, then oh well. Then we're just going to have to <laughs> stay here until an aurora triggers again. And that's okay. Okay, we have some raw ptarmigan meat, which I don't know if we really need, but... Uh, we gotta kind of get a move. I'm gonna bandage my foot. Because... We want to get to... Trappers before... The Aurora kicks in properly. At the moment, the effect has somewhat started, but... You can see the wolves... Uh, maybe they spawned by now. The wolves are... There it is. See the wolf there? That's a normal wolf. It's not an aurora wolf. 
but at some point those wolves will just pop despawn and then they will uh, put aurora wolves instead yeah. oh but now you have that um, that echoing howl there so now I think the aurora wolves are out if I am not sure I will drop this um, tom again so I don't smell I don't really need it It's not enough to actually make a pie anyway. I might just drop it. Yeah, we have a beautiful Aurora today. It's an early one, a very early one. It may be that actually repairing the tower triggered it because it's so early. Like it's dusk with all the colors and you still have an Aurora coming on. Very, very cool. There we are. I think that is a normal wolf. Yeah, that's a normal wolf, I think. It's not, you know. You gotta shoot it with the bow. The only thing that works really is shooting it with the bow. Still gonna use torches though. Just for the minor warmth bonus and I'm gonna run a bit too now one thing I'm curious about is that when you go into this tunnel that's over here you may remember from way back when probably episode one when I entered this tunnel you can see for a split second there's some wood on the ground and then it vanishes poof and that's a bug that's been going around for years a long time and it's just like once you get there the, the wood just despawns and it's uh, quite annoying you never pick it up now that happened on this run that you enter Mystery Lake and the wood just poop despawns the question now is is the wood going to be back or is it always gone let's find out yeah let's see okay the wood is gone the wood would have been here it would have been there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Gonna have the trappers. Starting to feel numb. And there's potentially one Aurora Wolf in the way. It's not a big deal. You can just kill him. Aurora wolves don't do much, they don't do more damage as far as I know. There's a lot of rumors around the wolves. I never tested it myself, but my understanding of it is that based on the tests that have been done by other people, especially a streamer called Blades TLD, which you should check out on Twitch and YouTube. He's got some good YouTube videos. Blades TLD. Um, him and, and some other stuff I've seen. Um, I've shown that I don't think the Timber Wolves do more, uh, sorry, Timber Wolves, Aurora Wolves, they don't do more damage, but they do persist longer, they stalk you for longer, uh, and they have more health, it seems like a normal wolf, they have more health, and actually in my old run, I actually shot an Aurora Wolf in the head and it survived. I don't know that. It's only happened once, so that means it could have been a glitch. Maybe that wasn't intentional. Uh, but, um... I don't know. It's hard to say. But if that is the case, it's because it had more health. I think it should have died either way, so I'm thinking it probably was a glitch. But bears, for example, have also more health. And uh, they, they may take more arrows to take down. Right, let's make sure we don't run into an Aurora bear. There's no such thing as an Aurora moose. They des the, the moose despawns during an Aurora. Now, actually, this will be a nice little experiment. I'm actually kind of glad I'm going back here because... I was under the impression, at least, that when you turn on the transmitter, that's when Aurora triggers for that night. But it could be that it was repairing the transmitter that did it, because this was a really early Aurora. You don't tend to see Auroras often this early in the night. 
So if I turn it on next night and it doesn't, nothing happens, then then I I was wrong, and it's actually um, the re reparation, re the repair that actually does it. All right, we're back home. Back home at the base. Let's see if there's anything needs doing here. Do I need to like cook some meat, for example? Because I got a fire, might as well use it. Let's see what we got here. I do like the Aurora. If the Aurora bear shows up, I will probably will kill it. I'm running out of arrows also. Okay, there is some stuff. Is this all ruined? Yeah. Wait a minute, what about this one? Oh, did I not pick it up? Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't pick up the tarm again. Let's uh, make a fire here and, and cook some, some meat. Because uh, we ha don't we have a lot of meat in this base, but it's all raw meat, so we need to actually cook it. Well, I can hear a wolf in the distance. Put on one piece of coal also. Yeah, uh, let's see. I kind of want to cook it faster rather than slower, so let's do this. And grab two of these. Uh, do this. Cook that. It's faster this way. There we are. Okay, and while that cooks, we could do some inventory management. There we are. Is my shelf still there of stuff? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so we got some stuff. What stuff do I have that I can't remember everything I brought? Oh, I had one of these. That's fine. Uh, let's put this over here. Let's put this over on our salty crackers collection. I can get quite a few of those. All right, rough will take. I might be able to use that. Uh, I might actually chain this torch. So you can see a bit better. Let's pick this one up too. All right. All right, let's see. Here. We also have some other stuff. So we have cooking oil. For now, and salt also. We should, I'm just going to drop here for the moment. Quite a lot of cooking on, that's good. Can I actually. Oh, cool. Kind of wanted to move this more this way. Like that, yeah. Can I move this for the back now? Yeah. And this, that, that's it. Nice and tidy. Oh, all my ingredients. This broth, yeah. Acceptable broth. I think I'm going to put this here instead. Okay, what else do I have? Um, coffee. We can put the coffee in here. Don't need to carry all that around. That's a lot of coffee I got still. Holy crap. Oh, we don't have these. Let's put this one and these two. How far have the cooking gone? It goes faster than you think. 20 minutes or halfway there. Okay. Then... What else do we bring? Uh, we don't need all these stims. Oh, I don't know if we can fit these stims actually. No. Take the tea out. Uh, and put stim a stim in here. Put two stims. I'll take a take one of these out too. I'm gonna carry two stims on me. Wait, are there bandages in here actually? No. So I need to make some bandages then. Grab some cloth. Two cloth. And also I need to make some arrows, so let's take all the arrowheads. And feathers. I need I'm not sure how many feathers actually will take. Thirty. Okay. What else did I bring? Uh, I brought an extra one of these, an extra one of these. I brought these ones. 
We have that extra. We have all of these ones. Forgot to label the ptarmigan thing, actually. I said I would do that. I forgot to do that. What else is there? Oh, I can just put it in. I think that's it, actually. Go outside. Where's the... Oh, yeah. I think this is probably cooked now. Let's just see. Yeah. Three minutes. Yeah. Do that again. Put that there. Eat the other one. How much water do I have in basil? So that's another thing. Alright, so we got fry bar over here. We got marine flares, which are over here. Here. Nice little collection of marine flares. And we have a skillet that we don't need, so the skillet can just we can stack them here. We have another one of these that we don't need, which we can stack here. Then we have these as well. Where did I start putting these? Oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Can't remember. There's so many of these in the world, it's crazy. Okay. Uh, clothing wise, I'm just gonna take this stuff that's ruined out because there's no point of being in there. I uh, might need to repair one of the air wraps, maybe. I'm not sure though, because of the insulation we have now. Let's put this in here. Uh, we need the fishing at some point. Teas in there, that's good. So many books. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's looking good. These need to be refilled at some point. Not right now though. Base is starting to be quite full of stuff. Let's have a look at her. I saw some stuff out of all this cooks. 22 minutes. Okay. Start by making some bandages. Another one. Now they should be cooked. I need to find a place to rest. That's cooked. Keep cooking the bear meat. Oh, I forgot to check the water situation in the how is the water situation actually? Let's see. We need to make sure we have supplies in this space. Uh, four liters. That's a that's not a lot, but one day I'll uh, come back here with lots of water. Uh, sorry, wood, and let's make a bunch of this stuff. All right, let's sort out some stuff. So let's harvest the things that are broken. Did I see a bear? No. Good. Wind is picking up, so this probably will douse this at some point. stuff is done that's good let's also harvest these and these get some sticks out of it if I have time I'll make some pies but I don't think we can do that I need that okay one minute perfect Perfect. We're cooking. Now we're getting some uh, bear meat here, which is great. Why is that one like the wrong way around? Weird. Okay. How is my situation looking here? 33 minutes. Yeah, I put this on then. Uh, let's see. Let's refuel this. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff, so I want to make sure 
carrying more than I would think. Oh yeah, let's make some fire hardened arrows. I knew there was something missing. That's three arrows, is it? I want more than that. Ten minutes. Get that done. And that. Make another one. Now we have a better supply cache here. I want another one of these. The actual simple arrows I'll make inside later. Okay, 14 minutes. Uh, we can also do this. We're going to be cooking into the night, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Six minutes. Yeah, this is fast time here. This bear has been here for a while. <laughs> no wonder it's ruined. But now we're getting a bit more meat here. Okay, what else is there to do? We need to make those. I feel like I'm carrying too much stuff. Um, well, this is quite heavy. But we need to repair some things too. What do we need to actually let's go back here? So we need to repair their stuff. Okay, this we can repair also. Uh, both rabbit things and socks, maybe some cloth. There's a few things we can repair actually. Let's see. Uh, so let's grab a couple of those things. Let's see, so let's grab two of these. Oh, that's all we got. And three of those. One, two, three. And that's it, I think, yeah. Oh, a couple, now we have cloth, okay. Let's do that. How far am I to mending level, whatever? Let's have a look at that. Okay, still a while away. Let's do some repairs then. Let's start with these. How long does that take? An hour 16. Okay, that's quite long. This, an hour 25, even longer. This, 18 minutes. Do that one. You don't have to repair that, really. You can harvest it if you want, make a new one. But And this one, 12 minutes to repair that one too. The terrible socks. Terrible socks. But they're the only <laughs> socks I got, so. Cooked and cooked. And let's cook some more. And uh, I have to repair these later. It takes too long. How are these? 25 minutes. That's more like it. Repair that. Nice, 93. That's fine. How about this one? 25. Yeah, let's repair that too. It's 50 minutes and takes 46 minutes to cook. That's fine. There we go. Good enough. That's cooked. Uh, let's actually make some water this time. Take more or less the same time. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll use one of our coal for that. What else? Um, this is not that bad, but I think we'll repair it anyway. And how about this? It takes 51 minutes. I guess we'll repair this. It's not really necessary, but we'll do it anyway. There we go. That's cooked now. And we can put one more of these on. Now we have way more food there, which is fantastic. Okay, uh, 44, 26. I don't think there's anything really worth repairing. It will be these two now. But we don't really have, it takes too long. So I think I'll pass on that. We need to make some saplings. We'll do that tomorrow. We might have to spend a day here actually, just to get sorted. We'll come back here, no worries, but. There's an Aurora, so I wonder if I can actually I think maybe we can uh, make some shafts. 
Let's just see quickly. Can I make this? Oh, it's too dark. Uh, it is actually too dark. Strange though, because the girl in Aurora out. Oh well, that's okay. Okay. I think we will eat one of these. And have a drink. And then we'll go... I think we'll just pass time this time. I, actually, while that's doing that, let's just go and grab some sticks or something. We have five arrows. And six fire hardened arrows. Okay. That should be fine. Uh, where's the sticks? No, uh, we're on, but it's the seas, not the sticks. There we are. I had more, but I used them, of course. Uh, we can actually break one of these down. It won't be done by then, so. I guess that's fine. Too cold. One more stick here. One day we'll put a bunch of rabbit traps there too. To see what happens. <laughs> okay. Let's see how far along we are now. I forgot we had this also. That's okay, we can keep that for later. Wait, it didn't finish? Or did it blow out? Oh, I think it blew out. Oh, we can take this and use those thingies. Okay, that didn't get cooked, that's unfortunate. Uh, but we have one of those uh, tablet things, so we'll just use that. We'll just use that. Uh, let's just take those. I think it's here. Or are they in here? I think they might be in here. Yeah, four oh, percent. Perfect. Take those. I'm gonna take both. They're gonna expire soon. Uh, so then, let's just use those. Why can't I use them? Yeah, do it says. Oh, was it? Oh, it was poke. I thought it was non post but it said. <laughs> okay, never mind then. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's okay, we're gonna use them. Let's sleep, but let's sleep only until it's light, like three hours or something. And then I think we'll spend the day here, just like sorting some stuff out. Yeah, so let's make some arrows. Start with that. There we go. Then we'll make some simple arrows. I think we'll use the tools for that. Have a drink. Uh, yeah, let's do that. How many can I make? Seven, yeah. We can make four for starters. Rest soon, I'm gonna fight. Yeah, we'll probably spend the day here just sorting this out. We'll see though. Okay, yeah. And then... Let's go outside. Yeah, we're gonna spend the day just sorting ourselves out there, I think. Eat that. Drink. And then we're going to go back out there. But we need some more supplies first. Okay, and then I want to repair these. And these. Let's do these first. I'm so tired, I could lay down right here. There we go. That's repaired. For the most part. I need to get some more uh, deer hides, actually. I'm kind of running low here. There we go, and I think that's it, uh, well enough at least, good old Astrid. Yeah, I think this is good. Now the issue is that I'm still too heavy 
for when I go back out there, so... Now this way is quite a bit. Uh, I don't think we need to carry that many acorn grounds with us, because the stuff that uses acorn is like not that many things. Like this, for example, and there's only one. So I think I'm going to put these away, uh, put all but one of them away. And then, uh, oh, well, how many hours do I have? Tw uh, 12 is plenty. Let's put these in here. Let's put uh, that in there. And of course the tools, we are not going to carry those. They go in here. What else? Um, we don't need this many torches either. We can harvest these too. Uh, we maybe put like two arrows in here for future keeping. They're keeping. Uh, the rest I think is okay. Don't need this many arrows. Oh, sorry, feathers either. Carry five. And I guess that's it. Could put... I guess that's it. A match. We don't need this many. Uh, let's put 24, 32 matches. Ah, let's put, f put 40 matches in here. Let's also update our journal for that. So we have two, 240 matches in this base. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it, probably. Uh, if we want, we can read something while we wait. Is there anything I really need to read, though? Okay, I guess if we read this ice fishing one. Uh, a little bit, but we're too tired to read, actually, now that I think about it. It won't work. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I think that's all right. We can harvest these two. The two terrible torches we're probably not even going to use. And I think in the morning we'll just head out. There isn't really anything more for us to do here. I mean, I would like to come back here and spend a few days resupplying the space, getting more water, getting more uh, deer hides, and that sort of thing. Uh, especially if I see deer outside. Don't really need these, but seeing as they're expiring, let's put them back in here. Yeah, I think that's it. We'll just drink those rice teas, I think. All right, I guess that's it. Not a lot of water though, which I don't like at all. We're gonna sleep for 10 hours. Okay, let's eat this. And then have a drink again. And then sleep until morning. Two hours, but I'll put three. Alright. Alright. Okay, so it's morning, very early morning. But uh, I think we are done here for now. I do want to come back here and resupply the space. Have more. We need more deer. Sorry, deer hides and uh, bear hides. Moose I wouldn't hurt. Uh, I'm not sure I really need the broth actually. I'm not sure why. I'm just gonna put this here because I'm, I'm gonna make it with this stuff. Uh, we are not gonna go on a long journey until uh, a little bit later, so then we'll cook all this stuff. I do need some water though. I'm gonna take two of these. Not a lot. And we're going to head out now. Oh, heavy snow. We'll take uh, one, two, three, maybe. Ah, four. We'll take four. How cold is it? Fairly cold. Uh, what we might do is, because it's early morning, we're going to take a short detour there, because we need the night anyway. So let's take a detour and go via Milton. Not because we really need anything in Milton. Uh, if we go to... Where's Milton? Uh, I mean Mountain Town. Oh god. There we are. I haven't actually mapped anything in Mountain Town. 
Wow. I only been there the one time which I went, when I went to Hushra Valley. Uh, but I can um, I can go there and I can grab the coal in this cave when I go through. And then I can always just sleep to recover some sleep um, in uh, one of the caves in Fallen Muskeg or something. You can always even go down into the basin. We don't need to go into the town itself. That's to be looted later. Uh, another time I'll go through all of that stuff. But you can do some mapping though. So yeah, we should get a few pieces of coal in here. Should have respawned by now. It takes three weeks for coal to respawn fully. By which I mean if you loot everything and then go in. Like seven days later, you might find the old piece of coal. Uh, but uh, they won't fully respawn for like 20, 21 days. This guy should be looted, I think. Yep. I can do a bit of mapping. I didn't actually bring that much charcoal as the only issue, but I didn't think I was going to do any mapping at all. But that's okay. I do need to find a second Polaroid for Fallen Mask. I'm missing one. Uh, I don't think we'll take this wood. Leave that there. I want the coal though. Handy for early mornings. And blizzards. Got full health now, which is nice. I'm gonna try and be a bit more careful with my health. I've had too many encounters in these hundred days. Where I was close to dying more than I would like. I don't mind losing a lot of health if I know it's gonna be fine. If I know, for example, I'm gonna travel really far to forsake an airfield or something and I lose a lot of health but I know I'm not going to die to like wolves or something along the way because I know the route and then I don't really mind being low on health because then I, oh, I know that once I get there I can just spend some time recovering and getting the health back that's okay but in other situations when you're on wolves and you're out and about sometimes it's best not to take those risks now in the early game okay who cares but now we we crossed 100 days it's best not to take too many chances here. Let's uh, map this because this is a cave entrance here. There we go. And you can actually see... Ah, the weather's too bad, but the crash site's over there and there's also a truck down there. Uh, you can't really make out. It's too... But it's too terrible. Uh, let's go back inside and warm up. Just because it's really cold out. So let's just pass some time. There we go. Go back out. Much better. Didn't clear up, did it? No. You can barely see the truck down there. Okay. We'll map this uh, cave as well. And we'll go down into the Milton Basin. We, we went to Milton Basin once before. But I don't think we looted all the little things down there. So we might as well do that now on the way to Fallen Muskeg. There's a few little nooks and crannies there to loot. And uh, we can check those out. I think you can find a Polaroid in one of those locations actually. Let's go do the, that. And I think we might actually go down there. We don't really need anything in Milton itself. So we could just leave it. Okay. <gasps> Loud waterfall. Uh, let's pick up the stick. So down here there will be a wolf. Let's go this way. Whenever there are big patches, like there was this massive quality of life update, I'm always worried that they're going to change some of the goating routes that they now add death falls or something to an area that didn't used to have a death fall. And then like, whoops, you're dead. That would be an annoying way to end the run, that you like walk into an area that has an instant kill barrier that didn't used to be there before. That would just be ridiculous, in my opinion. 
Uh, we don't need acorns or rabbits or anything. At least not for now. I'm going to leave all that stuff. I will, however, map this cave. And there are many ways you can go down to Milton Basin. There are multiple of them. But I think we'll take one that's right here. That's quite straightforward. All right. You know what? I totally forgot about this. I left these behind, didn't I? Is that raw meat? Yeah, we'll leave that. I absolutely forgot that I had left these here. We'll take them with us. I don't know when I'll, I'll come here again. But they should be written here. Uh, it's in... This one. This is what it is. <laughs> That's it. Alright, thank you. Uh, we'll actually sleep for, here for one hour because it's it's really... We're not warm enough. All right. That's better. All right, let's uh, get down to Milton now. Milton Basin, rather. I don't have to be fully rested for single void or anything, but I do want to have enough that I, I won't get heavy. Because we are for sure going to loot the bunker and then possibly also search for some cash and we might run into Timberwolves if we do. Now you can go down this way for example, but you can also do it further up, it doesn't make a difference. But you should be able to go down here. And this should lead all the way down to Milton Basin as you can see. But let's do that. This doesn't look unsafe at all, does it? Ow. Best to crouch, probably. Taking a bit too much clothing damage here. Yeah. Let's just crouch. And here's Milton Basin. And this is uh, the logs, I think, by the waterfall. Tend to be rabbits right here. And this thing here is a little, kind of like a little island, I guess. And up there, there tend to be smaller things like a backpack, some saplings, and some other stuff. And I think you can get the Polaroid there. So we might go and grab that too. And I think we'll probably sleep like four hours in a um, cave. I already have the sprains, so I'm not too bothered about sprains now. How many sprains do I have? Two. Crouch, uncrouch, crouch, uncrouch. And down we go. I think that's it. There we are. I can't feel my feet. And here we are. Down into Milton. Neat. Alright, we're gonna get cold in a minute, but that's okay. We're going to go up and check out the stuff that's here. I can't run, unfortunately, because I got two sprains. But that's right. We're going to sleep to recover those sprains anyway. So up here we go. We're going to go up here. Let's eat a bear meat. Have some water soon. I can lower this for the moment. You follow this ramp up here and on the other side of this should be a maple sapling. I think there's some birch saplings too. And some woods and a backpack, I think. Unless they changed. It's been a while since I've been up here. It's one of those misc loot areas. You know. So you come up here and then it's actually on the right here. You can see here this little secret place to go down, down here. And on this side, as you can see, there's maple. Is this actually rope anchor? I think, no, it's not. I was gonna say it's a little bit weird. Uh, I think we'll actually map here. Take the cold damage. There we go. Yeah, I got two, uh, we got much, uh, uh, birch and maple. And uh, we're going to take it because uh, it's the sort of location that I don't know when we'll come back here. We're not going to take the wood though. We'll leave that. 
Here's the birch as well. And then we can go over here, back where we came from. We need some first aid soon. Let's see. It's a bit, but I'll make it. And here's more birch, as you can see. That sparks a bit. And uh, I'm gonna take this because I don't I don't think we'll come back here anytime soon. Ow. Let's grab these two. And here is a little campsite area. Here we are, Rocky Refuge. Ah, we do have the Polaroid. No, we don't have that. There you go, Polaroid. That looks like it's from the radio tower, I think. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna go there. Dog food, well, accelerant, chocolate bar, sure. More wood, we don't really need any of this stuff, so we can leave that. And then we can leave. Uh, we can just go down. They don't go around. Whoops. Almost fell there. Mm, this is actually slightly steeper than I remember, but that's alright. Ow. It definitely was possible to do that in a smoother way than I did. Hopefully I didn't damage my clothing too much. We're gonna sleep in this cave. Uh, I would like to sleep four hours. Because then I cure my sprains. There's a lot of birch over there, but I'm gonna leave that. We're gonna grab some birch down here anyway. That's that sorted. Then I'm gonna head to Fallen Muskeg and into the cave and repair the transmitter. Oh, turn on the transmitter and get this bunker. So we're doing a massive detour. So in the beginning, remember in the beginning of the episode, I was like, uh, should we just go now? Uh, I don't know. And then we didn't, right? <laughs> Imagine if I had, though. Then this episode would be done already. We already did what we're supposed to. I'm going to pass some time because I'm going to sleep for four hours. Have a little drink here. Uh, can I sleep for four hours? I think not quite. Let's pass a little bit more time. I think now I can sleep for four hours. Let's do that. Sleep for four hours. All right, all cured. Fantastic. Pick that up. Let's eat one of these. And then I think continue. Oh, not much water at all. Make more of it. All right, two seconds. Okay. Let's keep going. And we are fully rested. Sprains are gone. And, oh, I love this dusk. This is my favorite dusk. The green dusk, look at that. I think it's beautiful. Someone explained it to me once why that happens. Uh, first, I think someone said it's because an aurora hits the class with the sun. I don't think that's true. I don't think that was the issue. It's got something to do with, um, is it like fog? In the distance, or I can't remember what it was, the explanation actually. But I really like it, so this way you don't see as much, but... Yeah, you got this uh, lovely green sky. I think that's fantastic. Almost like, almost toxic green, you know. There's a wolf right there, he's gonna come for me now. Wolf, wolf. There he is. Shame, interrupted the music. <laughs> We're gonna just walk for away from him. And then we go to the fallen mask cake. We're gonna head to the transmitter tower. And we're going to uh, turn it on. And we should get an aurora. And if we don't, we'll just have to spend some time here in fallen mask cake. And uh, do some misc things. We're gonna head straight there for now. There we go. Alright. We haven't mapped anything at all up here. Yeah, we have. This is all mapped. Yeah. Look at this 
Beautiful. And it's not even cold. Well, it's barely got minus three because we have good gear and everything. Uh, I might grab a little bit of birch here, I guess. Let's see. I don't suppose there's a campfire with charcoal there also. I don't really need it, but... Oh, I left this behind. Thank you, I'll take it now. Charcoal as well. Nice. I actually got heavy doing that. That's okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of uh, birch. I'm not going to do the whole round. It's going to take too long. Uh, I'm just going to do some of it. And I want to go over here because uh, I am still in the process of marking all the ptarmigan spawns. And I haven't marked this one. So let's just do that. Barely a detour at all. I think I can hear them actually. Uh, I'm tempted to kill one just to make ptarmigan pies. But we don't really need to because the rabbits achieve the same thing. Uh, the pies that. Uh, The work with that. There they are. There's yeah, the ptarmigans. Ah, I can just spook them, it doesn't matter. Uh, choose, where is it? Hunting, hey, hunting area. Hi, ptarmigans. Run! Only one, actually. Huh? Alright. Mark this. Yeah, so that's the ptarmigan spawn right there. I'm gonna head down. There we go. And I don't think I've actually checked this hunter's blind over here, have I? So let's go and do that. Minus three still, so we're doing great. Look at the sky. Amazing. If someone remembers why it's green, uh, let me know, because I don't think I've seen a green sunset in real life. Not that I recall, anyway. But this one appears in the game sometimes, and I don't remember the explanation for why it happens. I think it's got to do with it being a clear day, I guess. No wind. I, I don't know. But it's beautiful. Uh, I, I saw it once ages ago, and I was like, what is that? And I was really confused why it was green. Oh yeah, I hadn't been here. Hey, the other Polaroid. Perfect, we're going to go there now. Fantastic. I think I can make it across here, I think. Can it be done? Yeah, that can definitely be done. One, two... Three, four, yeah. And I think it's just a beautiful one. Like, you get a lot of great weather effects in this game. A lot of beautiful weather, especially at sunset and dawn. Um, but it can also be during the clear day, of course. But you get this really uh, immersive, colorful weather. And this one, the green one, I saw it once when I was a newer player. I was like, wow, that's unusual to a picture of it. And someone explained to me what it was, which I forgot. And now yeah, I see it now and then, but I, I, it's been a long time since I've seen the green sky as clear as this. On a clear day. Absolutely stunning. Very nice. Wait. Okay. Onwards we go. And you can see the tower in the distance there. And we're doing well in terms of like fatigue and warmth and everything. What? Minus four now, so now it's starting to get slightly colder. Um, if there isn't an aurora now, it doesn't really matter too much because uh, we'll just make it so that we are ready for the next night. We'll get an aurora eventually. We're probably more likely, I, don't, I haven't checked to see if this is how it works, but we're probably more likely to get an aurora in Bleak Inlet than here. 
There's a bleak inlet. Oh, what's this? Random. Ay, ay, ay. That was a bit lucky that he got spooked. Oh, I've been. Oh, I recognize this place. I've been attacked by a wolf in this exact place before. On my other main run, when I was on day 970 something. I was in this exact same place. No backpack though. And a wolf came around the exact same corner. And I got uh, in a struggle. If that had happened now, that would have been alright. I have a lot of energy. I have almost full health. Uh, even if I just let go of the keyboard, I think I probably wouldn't die. No, this amount of health. But yeah, what I was talking about was uh, the regional thing. So I haven't tested this yet. Um... It, it would take some time to test it properly, but maybe one day. Uh, the claim that different regions have different weather. Now, at first thought, I thought like, well, I think maybe that's an illusion. For example, people say that Pleasant Valley has a lot of blizzards, more blizzards than usual. And Bleak Inlet has more auroras and that sort of thing. And when I first heard about that, I thought, like, I don't think that's true. I think that's just, like, a pattern that people find in random data. That they think there, that um, there is a, uh, a pattern to it when there isn't any, so to speak. It's a selective matching psychology where you remember the instances that stand out and you forget the other ones. You remember every blizzard in Pleasant Valley and you remember every aurora and Bleak Inlet because it makes sense for them to have them. But then I thought about it, it's like, well, you know, it is a thing that different regions have different weather and, uh, sorry, different temperature. So Bleak Inlet, as you saw, is actually a lot colder than other regions. And that's not an illusion because developers have said as much. They even said that Forsaken Airfield is among the coldest of all the regions. And it is quite cold. Now, why would they say that? And why would you experience it being cold if that's not the case? So the... Uh, there is, uh, pretty certainly, uh, there are differences in weather, or rather, there's differences in temperature across regions, where some regions are colder than others. Now, and if, with that said, if, if there are regions that are colder than others, then it would also follow that maybe some regions have different weather than others. It depends on whether, it just depends on whether that's a global thing or not, we don't know. But well, it could be tested. But there are some claims like, uh, well, Forsaken Airfield and Bleak Inlet are very cold. And then Bleak Inlet and Blackrock should have more auroras because they have the workshop. So both Blackrock and Bleak Inlet have uh, something in them that require an aurora to work. And therefore it would make sense that you have more frequent auroras there. Otherwise people could wait a very long time to open the workshop for example, right? Uh, so that makes sense, I guess. And then you have things like Pleasant Valley. People always say Pleasant Valley has way too many blizzards. Uh, way too many. And some people have also said that Bleak Inlet has more clear days than average, so you can use the maglens more. Uh, once and only loves this re uh, Bleak Inlet, and he spent, I think, uh, a run where he only stayed in Bleak Inlet for like 50 days, and he felt like he could use the maglens all the time. We have to see. I don't really know if that's a thing or not. Or oh, we'll, we'll find out. Let's see if I can hit this wolf. My point is that if we need an aurora to happen... Oh yeah. That doesn't kill him though, it just scares him off. Kind of would have wanted him to run the other way. I might have to kill him anyway. That's interesting there, that... Um, he didn't actually... There's, I think I have to check that later, but... He did detect me, and yet the fire hard and arrow still scared him off. I'm not sure where the other arrow landed, but that's okay. Uh, I presume the reason the wolf didn't attack me there was because I launched the arrow before he attacked me, I think. 
I might have to kill this wolf. He's really in the way. We'll see, though. Oh, now let's change to this uh, sunset. How nice. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to kill him because I, I would like to use the Polaroid <coughs> up here. So I think we'll kill him. More bear meat. The sun is setting. It's gonna be a lot colder soon. So I think I will kill him. Let's see if we can trigger. Can we trigger a charge from all the way over there? There he is. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can trigger a charge. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, uh, we're going to take some cold damage here, but that's okay. Now we have this beautiful dark sunset. Look at that. Isn't this eerie? It's almost like you're in another game. Very cool, though. Very cool. Ah, gorgeous sky. Makes me think of Firewatch or something. Okay. So this is the other vista, so let's do that first. There we are. But before I do, let me just take in this view of Fallen Muskeg in the sunset. You got kind of two clouds moving independently here. Huh? Alright, let's go. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> and see is anything interesting revealed? Well, what we want actually is the bunk. I think that's here. Cash. All right. Let's turn on this and see what happens. Do we have an aura is the question now. Or was it me repairing it earlier that triggered it? Let's find out. I think it should happen more or less instantaneously. But of course, um, I do suspect that it was actually repairing the tra- Ow, oh, that did not look like it was that far. And yet, here we are. Ow. Didn't expect it to be that bad. Uh, I might actually sleep like two hours to cure that sprain. Uh, I have a suspicion that I was repairing the transmitter that caused it and not turning it on. Seeing as, um... What's this? Spray paint is lame there, okay. Seeing as um, last time, I t I, when I just repaired it earlier, it triggered an aurora really early. That was an early aurora. We're gonna have to see. I think I'll go back into Bleak Inlet and hope for an aurora. Or at least go into cave. Wolf. I can hear the paws. There he is. See? There he is. I could hear him. And the mind's upon the wear a headset. <laughs> okay, and here we go. We can warm up here and also heal our sprain. Let's see when Aurora hits as well. <laughs> okay. There we are. All right. Excuse me. All right. Okay. Sorry about all the little mini breaks. When you have a baby, there's a lot of interruptions. Sometimes I can recall the whole episode. No interruptions. Not really interruptions, but things to attend to. 
other times. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> but that's what it's like to be a family person. Okay, I think we will uh, sleep here actually for two hours. And see what happens. I don't feel like it's an Aurora. If it was, I think, uh, would have heard. I think that most likely that means that repairing the transmitter actually triggers the Aurora, not turning it on, which is very interesting. Uh, but. The knight is still young, so I think I will still go to begin it. Go back there, and if it doesn't trigger, then uh, we'll just stay there. I'll do the memento cache and that sort of thing. There is this light, though. Actually, I can find out. No, this would be, the radio would be active if there was an Aurora. That's an easy way to check, but it's not active, so. That smarts a bit. Yeah, it's, this, it's the ankle. I really need more water as well. Uh, I might have to just make some water. Run into if I if I see there might be a moose I can kill for example. Uh, I think it's this way. But yeah, we just came from Bleak Inlet and now we're going back. <laughs> but that's because this is where the bunker is, and we gotta find it. I know where it is, but uh, we need Nora. Should have used it when I repair the transmitter, but I kind of wanted to go back with all my stuff. But also it was an interesting little mini experiment to see if it worked or not, which it definitely didn't. So either repairing the transmitter is what actually triggers the aura without turning on, or it's just a coincidence. Okay, I don't think there's any point kind of... How cold is it? Minus nine, not that cold actually. So I think we'll just he head into Bleak Inlet a little bit, head to our cave maybe. The moose around. In which case we can kill the moose. Oh, yeah. Doesn't seem like the moose is around. It would be here. There probably is a Tim Wolf pack though. Because it should have respawned by now. So I wouldn't be too surprised if they sneak up on me here. But I want to go to the memento cache. Might as well do that while we're here, right? Ow. I know one is in that uh, blind. And then I believe the other one is... Um on the bridge. We do have kind of like a green fog here, but I think that's just a coincidence. I'll make our way to this cave and then we'll sleep two hours more there, I think. If there is a moose up, it won't be here. It'll be by the washout trailers, I guess. Could be a pack of Tim Wolves around though. Because I killed the pack on this side of the map when I came here. That's a little while ago now. They could have respawned by now. I got flares, I got weapons. I'm not particularly bothered by them. If I see them before they see me, I can stealth kill them as well. So far though. Nothing. A bit. Hmm. Uh, 
right, let's go to this cave. And just to save the bandage, we'll sleep for two hours in here. And then we'll either... Well, it depends on the temperature and stuff. We'll either go back out or wait until the next day. Open a roar in the night. Don't think... Uh, well, what I'll probably do is, if it, there isn't an aurora tonight, I'll probably just hang out in the cave next to Bunker, rather than going back to base. You know, if I do run into <coughs> dim wolves, I could always uh, cook them. There we are, back in our beloved cave. We got some meat here that has been cooked. Got our moose hide. Which is... Cured. Not gonna take it though, it's super heavy. We got some meat here, I think. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's just sleep for two hours here. Is it an aurora? Yeah, it is an aurora. But I don't think that was triggered by the thingies. You see the timber wolves there? All right, let's bring this out. There we are, we have our signal. But I already know where it is. What about this one? Where does this go? Oh, no signal, okay. Oh, well, that's creepy, isn't it? And these are Aurora Timberwolves. They are not afraid... ...of uh, fire. This seems to be a small pack, though. I think maybe we can take them on. That noise, did it always have this noise? That's creepy. Sounds so demonic. You tried to flank me there. What happened to my arrow? That was creepy. Oh, that... It's been a while since I've hunted, uh... Uh... Aurora wolves. And I don't remember them being... Sounding that demonic. <laughs> I don't think that was added recently, though, because I remember I did my Intercopa video, which was at the beginning of the DLC, and then I also heard these kind of... Really echoey, demonic sounds from um, from the normal wolves, the normal aurora wolves, I guess it's the same. But yeah, that was kind of creepy. Should be fine getting across there. Oh! Famous last words. Okay, now we have hyperthermia. Great. Okay, well that changes things a little bit. We don't have to make a fire. Well, actually, I think we might be able to get to the bunker before we get too cold. Okay, we have hypothermia. Not sure I can carry much more. That's not good. All our clothes are now wet. Well, not all of it, but some of it. Our lower parts. Oh, does that imply? I never noticed that, that only the lower part of our... Um, uh, only the lower part of our clothing are wet. Does that imply that we didn't fall through the ice? We kind of cracked it and grabbed hold and climbed back up? Guess so. The blue is story mode, if you're not sure how this works. Blue is uh, not story mode, but the tail. The blue shows the bunker. And the orange shows a uh, cache location. Oh, God. This one should be traversed, but I've done it before. I think it's because I was heavy that I... No, I wasn't heavy before. Oh, there, we got a cache here, actually. We got a cache. There's a story. Or tales. We got a cache. 
And yeah, we'll warm up in the bunker itself. Now I have no idea how far away this is though, so... If it's up there, for example... Can't really get to it. More saplings, we don't need those saplings right now, I guess. Losing health fast because we have hypothermia. When you have risk hypothermia, you lose 20% health per per hour. But when you have actual hypothermia, it's 40% per hour. So you, you're dead in like two and a half in-game hours. Which is about 12 minutes real time. I don't want to see what this is before I get to the other bunker. Is it down here at all? Is it up? I have a suspicion it's actually up. Yeah, it's on the upper levels. Well, back to the story then. The tails. It should be right here. This is the bunker. O Omega, I think it's called. I'm not sure. This pile right here, I think it is. There we go. Found it. Give me canned corn. Hey, yeah. Let's go. Now, I haven't actually been in these bunkers on Interloper. I've only been on the lower difficulties. I, there we are, we're warming up. I did have a bunker alpha. All right. I did have a uh, stalker playthrough of this, but I abandoned it, at least temporarily. Because of uh, it being released on Interloper. These bunkers were not on Interloper before. Uh, but now they are, with just very, very little loot. Not sure, do I need this? Yeah, I mean, it's still kind of dark, so I'm going to use it. For now, at least. Okay, so in here we got... Cloth. Can we break these curtains to see if there's something behind? Doesn't seem to be anything there. What about here? Nothing here, really. Yeah, we got we got water actually, which I actually do need. I'll take that. Uh, I don't see anything else here. Don't use my lantern though. Hey, radio, turn on. Get some music. Is that corn up there? Hurrah! We got canned corn. <laughs> now we can make the the last recipe. Uh, I don't know if I have that one actually. Uh, I think I don't have it yet. No. Um, there's one recipe. I don't know three of them anyway. There's one recipe. I think it's a preppers one. That requires canned corn, which is this. You can only find that canned corn in these tails single void bunkers, so that's rare. There we go. And let's check in here. I'll take the toilet water, thank you. Is that actually not drinkable? Yeah, it was unsafe. So why is this water unsafe? Hmm. Odd. One single row sip, okay. If you're not sure where the music's coming from, uh, I did turn on the radio. Yeah. Okay, uh, some stuff down here. Oh, this is the research lab, I bet. We'll go after. I've been only once before, I can't remember exactly. Okay, let me just loot first. Oops. Not much to it here. All right, let's see what they got here. What's this? The mine is a real shithole. If my job is to shepherd the men, then their job is to keep the roof from landing on all of us. 
But this week we found a decent chamber to start building Rudiger's gadget. Teams one and two are with the program, but on shaky ground. Team three is getting volatile again. And while it's unclear what they have planned, I've called for additional security to fly in immediately. The medical officer has been conducting alignment interviews and has made some troubling observations. I'm still considering the implications, both for the men as well as project viability. My hope is that the crew can keep their shit together long enough to finish phase one, and we can get out of this godforsaken place. It's starting to get to me. Mm-hmm. I see. Very vague. Very vague. But I presume it has to do with, um... So they were building something in a chamber, so in a mine. Maybe in an industrial mine? A new region? Keep looking at stuff. Here we go. Give me coffee. Anything else around here? We'll have a look at this stuff later. Chalk. Ah, tools. Needs this cool, thing. we don't need that, but I'll take it. Radio here too. Broken control box. Into transcript 4. I think instead of the loot, I think. So let's uh, do that. So, this looks like a magnetic thing. Proper lead. Like an arc reactor type of thing. Electronics, I don't... I'm a scientist, you know. Bit of a scientist myself. But that doesn't mean I know anything about this at all. You know, I'm a psychologist. I don't know anything about electromagnetic disturbances. Which this seems to be. Some sort of generator of sorts. This looks, this definitely is magnetism. Probably they're researching the aurora or something like that. All right, what does this say? Session five, project medical officer interviewing patient seven. Let's visit the second instance again. First occurrence. What do you remember? Uh, the sun was out. But it was cold at the river's edge. There was a group of us that day. <laughs> Lots of laughing, yelling. Some were in our heads. <laughs> no one was getting in the water. I guess I liked being first. I didn't even jump, just <laughs> slipped in quietly away from everybody. Uh, the water mm -hmm. was clear, but bitter cold. I thought the bottom was closer. My head went under right away. God, I was a lousy swimmer. Uh, no one noticed me struggling in the deep pool. Carry on from where you were last session. Find the ending sequence. What do you see? Oh, uh, my hand reaching for a flat gray stone at the water's edge. I, I grabbed it. I pulled my head out of the freezing water. Mm. A breath. <laughs> the sun shining through the trees. Above us was... Was the sun out? I thought... Uh, the rain. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I don't know. That, that, that wasn't it. Keep hold of that image. It's okay if it fades a little. Breathe. Try going again. Second instance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we finished the bunker alpha. That was a bit more interesting from a psychological perspective. Now mountain down in Pleasant Valley, all right. Hmm. Well, it seemed like he was uh, recalling a memory and he was mixing stuff up. So he was, first it was the sun was out and it was cold and then it was rain, but that wouldn't make any sense because he fell through the ice. Why would that be relevant though? He's just trying to remember stuff that happened. He was just out there with some people and they were laughing. And then he fell through the ice. Well, no, he didn't really fall through the ice. He went swimming and he sank. 
but he climbed back up. Hmm. Well, the thing about memory, like we actually talked about last time, it fades. The thing about memory, my friends, is that a lot of people think that memory is kind of like a file in a hard drive. Or a VCR tape you just play back. But actually, memory is more like a puzzle piece. Every time that you remember something, you are not going into your mind to collect that particular memory. You're actually collecting all the little pieces of that memory. So if you're trying to remember something that happened, say, yesterday, you have to remember where you were, what time it was, what you were wearing, what you were saying, who were you with, uh, what uh, time of day was it, and so on. And all of these are individual elements of a memory and you have to put all of those pieces together every time you recall a memory and if you forget one of those details you forget that you wore a green shirt then you'll try and think about what you were wearing and you might say you wore a blue shirt and then from that moment onwards your truth is that you wore a blue shirt the memory is very fallible it's why eyewitnesses are very unreliable in court and this Rodiger thing they were talking about here, the guy couldn't really remember what he was uh, experiencing going in the ice. I'll share with you a short little story also while I keep looking around, see if I missed anything. That story you told reminds me of me. When I was a child, I almost died, I fell through the ice. Uh, we went out on the ice, me and my mother I think it was hey sunk it and uh, the city hall had marked some dangerous paths with uh, with like basically trees like branches and stuff but I was too young I didn't understand like w why are the branches on the ice and I just went nowhere to investigate like why are the branches there and it was thin ice and I fell through it and speaking of memory the way I remember that happening was that there were blocks of ice under the ice which I grabbed and I climbed up out of the water but I know that that can't be true because my mother said I was only wet from the waist down so I obviously fell through the ice then grabbed the ice and climbed back out and I was in the news and everything <laughs> boy almost dies <laughs> city hall needs to improve <laughs> safety rules uh, the whole thing that guy who drank his own pee doesn't yeah. seem so crazy right now that was my near-death experience. I don't remember how old I was, like five or something, or eight. All right. But the way I remember it happening is not how it, how it actually happened. I think we searched everything here, and it'll be interesting to see where this story goes. I haven't actually been to the other bunkers yet. I don't think so, at least. And I think I checked everything here. And we have hypothermia. But I need to stay warm now for 22 hours. I fell through the ice. This needs to dry, but it will dry by itself. And I found some toilet water. I'm actually going to use. When I put those back, didn't I? Derp. Oh well. That's okay though. We're going to stay here in the bunker for now. And then we'll head back out and take care of all this stuff. Let's eat this. And this. How much calories does the canned corn actually give? Oh. And uh, let's eat, eat this. Just eat these things. It's fine. I'm not going to use them for anything. Ketchup chips we can keep. Have a drink and let's sleep. And the reason I'm so heavy is because my clothes are heavy. Sleep 10 hours. Do I have. Oh, I don't have a herbal tea. No, I don't. Okay. Well, sleep. go it's almost night time again <laughs> sounds like a blizzard as well uh, I would stay here but I don't think we have the food and water for that so I think we're going to probably leave only issue is it sounds like it's a blizzard out there might be able to get to though I'm not sure if I can get to... Yeah, I probably can. I don't know. If I if I get cold, uh, then I have to restart the whole hypothermia thing. So I think it's better to wait. 
I mean, I'll drink unsafe water if I have to. It's not a biggie. I'm not going to sleep more. I'm just going to wait because... Um, uh, otherwise, I'll be too, too, uh, too awake. Let's pass time, a couple of hours. Oh, look how fast my meat is draining, though. Yeah, well, that's fine. In that case, I think we might as well stay here for the night. Alright, I think... Okay, we can cure it then. We can cure it. Uh, we'll eat the dog food. And then we'll eat, um, do I want to drink this? Yes, we're going to drink this. Ah, <laughs> we got dysentery. <laughs> the chance of getting dysentery is quite low, actually. And we need quite a lot of water. Oh, God. Fine. Drink this. Not going too well, is it? <laughs> Ay, okay, well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how this works now in terms of interactions with uh, sleep, so let's just try that out. Do I drain faster while I sleep, or no? It seems to be the same. So I think we can safely sleep 10 hours then. I think it's the first time I've ever gotten dysentery when it wasn't on purpose. Sometimes I tried giving myself dysentery and you don't get it, but... Oh. Okay, hypothermia is healed. It's almost morning. I need water and food. Um, so that's not good. But let's uh, see what it looks like outside. We'll make some water and fall in musky or something. Mouth. Okay, okay, we're gonna head out of here. We're done with bleak inlets. We'll come back here though. We'll come back. We will come back here because we want to check out the memento caches. But we're not gonna do that now. Another time. We'll come back here. And we'll get the memento caches and we'll get. Uh, Check the last few things. Like get the. Um, we'll come back here during an aurora, and we'll go to the upper levels so that we can do that. Let's grab these cattails for some extra food. And we need to drink water to cure this. Uh, this dysentery. There it is. Let's go. This entire is not hard to cure. You just need uh, the Raishi tea or antibiotics. And uh, two liters of water and then sleep. And we already done that. Like we have it. It's just we need to drink water. And then you just drink all of it in one go pretty much. We could harvest this wolf but it's no point. We could also go and grab the wolves over there, but I think I'm actually going to just get out of here. And in Fallen Musk, I'll kill a wolf or a bear or something. Oh, so cold. Or a deer. And there we go. Okay, let's light this for conclusion. Alright, fellow survivors, I'm gonna leave you exactly where I left you last time, in the cave out of Bleak Inlet. So, that's it for uh, last time I was like, that's it for Bleak Inlet for now, except for the bunker, but I wanted to come back to the bunker right away, but now we did that. Uh, we did the bunker. I could actually go and get food in the cave, I just realized over there. Oh well, that's okay. We've done the bunker now in Bleak Inlet, we're done with the region completely. We will come back one day, probably during an aurora to check for the cache that's on the upper level 
and also uh, get the memento cache in this region. So we'll come back here one day, uh, but not anytime soon. Now that we have the bunker down, we have two more bunkers to find, one in Pleasant Valley and one in Mountain Town. So we're going to go to one of those regions next and set up looking for uh, the bunker and anything else. I'm not sure which one I'll go for. Uh, leaning towards Mountain Town because I haven't really been there. Um, but I, on the other hand, Pleasant Valley is more of a detour. We might, might go to Pleasant Valley first. Because otherwise you have to go to the mountain town, then through Mr. Lake again, back to Pleasant Valley, then back down again. But yeah, I guess we'll probably go to Pleasant Valley first, I think. We also got to make some water, cure our dysentery, and get some more food. So before we head to Pleasant Valley uh, in the next episode, likely we'll do some resupplying in uh, Mystery Lake. Get some more deer hide, some more water, and just resupply the base. And then we can head out to Pleasant Valley and find the next bunker. And then we'll see what happens. There is the next DLC coming around soon, so we'll see what happens there too. But that being said, this was a bit of an odd episode. All I really needed to do was uh, repair the transmitter and go back where I just came from and find a bunker and answer it. Instead, I ended up getting attacked by Aurora Tim Wolves and I got dysentery and hypothermia. So much shenanigans <laughs> ended up happening. But it was fun. <laughs> okay, with that said, I'm going to leave you for here, survivors. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.